Hi guys, welcome to Rootstem Gaming and on today's game we're going to have a 250 point or 250 power level, sorry, apocalypse game. Uh, we're going to try and uh, maybe do a little bit of refighting from the second war of Armageddon and hopefully, if because uh, uh, Andy's not here yet, so I'm hoping he's bringing his orcs. If not, it'll be a bit different. But I'm hoping to have some Armageddon Steel Legion with some Blood Angels versus some orcs on this eight foot by six foot table. Um, we'll bring you into the mission in a moment once we've done it. But let's take you to some armies first. All right, there, guys. This is 250 power level. I want to keep saying points, but it's not points. It's power level of Steel Legion plus Blood Angel Space Marines. Uh, very tactical maneuver there by uh, Andy. Uh, right, so I'm going to go with the Blood Angels. So these are actually Heresy Marines, but they actually convert over to Apocalypse quite well because you don't really have to have a lot of said weapons. It's, ju it's just you've got weapons, you've got power fists. It doesn't really matter. Um, so this is going to be my main HQ, my main detachment. It's four uh, Assault Marine squads led by Dante with a Sanguinary Priest and a Sanguinary um ancient um he pretty much allows people to like re-roll and ignore morale he can recover wounds and of course that's my lord commander so he's going to be able to make people uh re-roll to hit as well not so bad they got uh, a few attacks in melee if we can actually get in there the benefit of course by having everyone on with jump packs is they can all deep strike which is good they're backed up by an elite section uh this is four terminator squads Two assault cannons, one heavy flamer, um, led by a chaplain and another sanguinary priest Excellent. with jump packs. Um, mainly because you get a lot of sang you need a lot of apothecaries in heresy, so I've got a lot of apothecaries. Yeah, <laughs> so it's there. like, yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Uh, another detachment here. This is more of my heavy support detachment. This is a relic land raider Proteus with multi melter and two twin Laz. And then, of course, the Volkites are going to be heavy bolters in this. Mm -hmm. I ain't got heavy bolters, but no. Volkite's pretty cool. It so it's a unit of it's a Devastator Squad with heavy bolters, a Devastator Squad with large cannons, and a um, Contempt to Dread, which actually, the save on them were pretty, I think it's a 4 up, it's pretty hard. Yeah, not bad then, yeah. Um, and then I've got a Relic Spartan, so I do have a super heavy vehicle. It was supposed to be a Fell Blade, but I left it stone by accident. I think I'm happy. Uh, I think you're happy about that, yeah. Um, twin heavy bolter and two quad Lars cannons. They are basically supporting these guys. We've got a lightning strike, just a unit on its own. With hellfire missiles, I believe. I believe that's what it actually contains. We've then got a unit of elites with a unit that's been substituted from Acadians because I forgot, again, another squad. They're doing very well today, I tell you. Uh, that's basically just three elite choices. The Lehman Russ out of that squad is not a command tank, but it will be the leader Probably of that particular tank. detachment. And and then we've got a unit of four Sentinels, two Plasma, two Laz, led by a uh, Lehman Russ Executioner. Again, that is just a standard tank. I didn't have the points to make it in command tanks. So that's just a standard tank with uh, the Sentinels behind. And then... Just a standard battalion of Steel Legion, led by a Steel Legion captain. Uh, three squads of infantry, three heavy bolters, and a heavy weapon team with three missile launchers. Deadly. Not too bad. Um, I've already made my card deck of 30, because there's no command points in this. But that is mine. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight detachments ready to rock and roll on the battlefield. I'm going to be coming across a hell of a lot of orcs. We're going to see how this plays out. Right, let's take you to Andy's orc. Yay, he's back on the channel. Yeah, with his orcs again. Yeah. Second time out. Yeah. Second time first out, time right. Apocalypse. Yeah, first time in Apocalypse. Second time out. He has gone and bought everything, though, Andy, for Apocalypse, whereas I haven't. I've just bought the basic game. Yeah. Uh, I've then downloaded everything else. <laughs> so, I'm a glutton. You're a glutton. Glutton for punishment. Right, tell me what have you got then, sir? Uh, uh, 250 points yeah. off Orc Army list. Yeah. Uh, first, I got a battalion starring Gasgol. Da, da, da. Gasgol Fracker versus Dante. Awesome. That's not going to, it's going to be anticlimactic because we've used <laughs> characters in this game before. They are not that great. Uh, one more boss. One yeah. weird boy. 
three units of boys, two way chopper sluggers, one way shooters. Okay. Uh, unit of ten grots. Uh, look at these, ladies and gentlemen. They all style got, Just, uh, got just look at these. These, he's not managed to paint them yet. No. Where did you get these from? I cannot actually. I, I bought them decades ago when, yeah, when I was first getting into school, so I cannot actually think where I got them from. Yeah, there's some old, old school where grots used to have auto guns okay. instead of grot blasters. Right then, sir, carry yeah, on. Sorry, yeah. I do apologize for interrupting. Quite right. Uh, two pain boys, similar vein, I think, with the apothecary yeah, apoth yeah. route. A knob with a war banner. So right, it says, This yeah. is my battalion. They're elite choices, aren't they? They are, yes. These yeah, are elite. Because yeah. my, my sanguinary priests are HQs. They're, they're all uh, HQ. HQ. These are all troops. Troops. And these are There's elites. your leaks. No problem. Next one. Uh, Vanguard detachment. Yep. Uh, Big Mac shock, uh, shock attack gun. Yep. Another weird boy. All right, yeah. I have <laughs> a, another pain boy. Yep. Ten man unit of looters. Yep. Two units of ten grots. Yep. A tank buster unit of 15. And a uh, burner boy unit of 15. Right, okay, so burner boys, tank busters, and shooters. That's an eclectic mix there. Uh, right, and sir. Next. And you've got some nice support here, so yeah, go ahead. There's uh, air wing detachment. Air wing, right, okay, Which skipping ahead. Uh, <laughs> uh, Wadbomb Buster Jet, yeah. the super shooters in custom force field, a Decker Jet, yeah. uh, again with plus two super, uh, super shooters, and a burner bomber with scorching missiles. Which one's your leader in that unit? It now? is. The one no problem. Yeah. Next. Uh, spearhead. Oh, this one. This one here. Oh, this is cans and dreads oh, yeah. and everything. So I have one big mech with yeah. again a, K a KFF mega uh, a mech mega weapon. Yeah. A war boss. Yeah. A death dread mob which breaks down into three individual yeah, uh, yeah, death yeah. dreads. Deployed. Two dread cells, custom mega blasters. Yeah. Killer can. You only have three. Uh, again, killer can weapons, scorchers. I have a coconut, just yeah. a standard, and one little mech. One little mech? Yeah. Little mech. Is that his name? <laughs> That's it. Does he just create rap albums under little the Orky and Big Mac. banner? Yeah, yeah. Um, and last but not least is my Outrider detachment. Wow, is this one detachment? It is. Wow, okay, that's a big detachment. <laughs> one uh, Death Killer War Track, who is yeah. my unit leader. Boss Zagstruck. Yeah. A three individual units of Death Cops of three each. Yeah. Which is not put on the sand, we want to deploy it. Well, we want to deploy it, yep. A unit of 20 stone boys. Yep. And a unit of nine knobs on war bikes. Okay, and the first casualties on those are going to be those three lovely unpainted ones. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> that is a 250 power level, because yep. uh, we're doing the same, we're both calling it points, and it's not because we don't normally play points. No, we don't play power level, but we don't play points. That's the one. Yeah. But can you believe it? I have only five detachments to. Uh... Yeah, five <laughs> detachments to the almighty eight. So this is, we're setting it just after uh, the arm, you know, just about when the arm is about to be smashed. So we'll see whether or not Dante can actually recreate what we did in history. I doubt it will, uh, but we will see. Right, we're going to roll the mission up. We're going to see what we get. And then we're going to start doing the deployment. And then I'll bring you into it. So I'm not going to show you us deploying. We're going to roll it up. We're going to deploy. And then we'll show you where we are and what mission we're doing. So we've pretty much done the recording. We're just going to show you the reserves on this bit. This is Andy's reserves, his storm boys and his things. They're actually part of a detachment. So when they come down, they try. They, they don't have to be within command radius, no. but on his second and subsequent turn, if they're not within command radius, they could suffer some serious side effects. These are my reserves. Now, these are two pure detachments that are reserves. Now, when you've got your detachments... You have to nominate somebody to be an HQ or the basically the detachment leader. They call it the war uh, warlord of the detachment. So because Dante is a detachment, he's got a little marker next to him, and so is that. Now, in the game, you get to draw cards. If you've got a detachment leader, a war mass, a war lord, <laughs> um, as part of the detachment, you draw extra cards for that. And if you've got War Master, I think you draw extra cards for that, but we'll find, I think you roll for that once we've all been set up. Because I know I'm not going to be drawing that many cards because I've not got these guys on the battlefield, but I might have, because I get to Deep Strike on turn one, and you do it right at the beginning of the turn. So this is our battlefield. So the objective, we have two different objectives actually. We've got this little man right at the top of this building here. Um... Where did you put yours, sir? Uh, yours is down there, isn't it? Yes. So there's a little man down there. 
and then I've got a little man in that piece of terrain over there. Uh, what that basically is, is if we're controlling that objective, so, yeah, 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 I think it has to be within 12 inches as well. If we're controlling that objective at the end of our of the battle round, we score a VP. We've also got these numbered one to six. At the end of the battle round, if we're within, if we actually own that objective, we roll a D, starting with the player that has the initiative, you roll a D12 yep. per objective, there's one there and what happens is is that on a 10 plus it becomes the objectives and all the other ones are discarded and that one is the only one that you can actually so even though you, you might be on the objective searching you might actually come across it again later on now a little word on terrain <laughs> a word about nutrition no a little word on terrain the terrain itself is actually like a transport so these pieces that are in my deployment zone, I can set up in these pieces and it doesn't matter where your figures are. What happens is, is that they become part of the terrain and you measure your ranges from the edges of the terrain pieces. If you get charged, the person does not charge the models inside, they charge the terrain piece and remain on the outside. So, for example, if... And he had some orc infantry wanting to get into this build, into this ruined section, this piece of terrain. He can't, but he can assault the piece of terrain to assault any of the squads inside. He gets to choose which one with his melee weapons. The thing is with that, is that you are allowed to shoot the unit with the units inside, or you can use melee. So defending pieces of terrain can be quite important. And we've got some quite big pieces of terrain knocking around. These are also terrain pieces. Uh, you have to mount them, so... When you get within six, if a whole of your unit is within six, you can get in the terrain piece. So it can actually add a bit of extra distance to you. If you want to get out, though, you've placed a whole unit within six. So it's not that cracking when it comes to sort of dismounting. So when you get into a piece of terrain, you might sometimes hold there. So this is one. This is one. This is one. Them three are terrain you've got to mount up in. That building is... That little thing over there is, this is impassable. So this, all this will do is, is if you're on top of it, you can actually get on top of it by using your entire movement. Or if you've got fly keyword, you can just land on top of it. That's the only way you're going to be able to claim that objective. Uh, that's a piece of terrain. That will be, that will be, this will be, I've got my finger pointing that will be as well so all them terrain pieces you have to mount up to get the benefit these are obstacles so if you have to draw a line of sight to a unit and it passes by any of this it's a minus one to hit so when you're in cover it's actually a minus one to hit that unit i don't know if it's the same in, i don't think it's the same for melee i think it's only for ranged but i will double check that because we don't we're not 100 percent sure on some of the rules um so We'll, come, we'll have a look at that in a moment. But normally it's minus one to hit. And if you're in the terrain, in the damage phase, you get a six up save. Of course, depending on the size of the blast markers, will depend on the Taxi. dice that you actually use to be able to save. So we're trying to explain as much as I possibly can because Mills complained last time because apparently I wasn't going to explain a lot. So I'm trying to keep the video <laughs> short because it's a pain to try and load them onto my PC. So we're going to go into the first turn of the game. So the objectives, like I say, is to try and get these seafarer caches and to hold on to the dead marine. So there's a dead marine there, there's a dead marine there, yep. and there's a dead marine there. And that's auto-focusing on my finger. <laughs> and like I say, the ones with the counters next to them, they are the commanders. If you want, you can shoot characters in this one, but it's a minus one to hit the characters, but you can actually just target the character if you want to. Which can be a bit, uh, well, Gasgol and Dante might make an early exit. You never know. Yeah. Right. Let's be spicy with this and roll a d12. I've got an 11. 10. A 10. So I will have the initiative for this turn. Uh, we'll follow the procedures in the book. Uh, once we've got all the counters down, these are what the orders are going to be. So you've got like an advance, which is a, a standard move and shoot. You've got a shoot, which is you can't move, but you got a plus one to hit in the shooting, minus one in melee. 
and you've got your double action, which is basically you can move twice, use melee weapons, but you can't do anything else. Right. <laughs> so we're going to put all them counters down. We're going to keep them hidden, even though the book says you need to show them. We are going to keep them hidden because it, it creates some weird tactical essence. Now, there is some cards that allow you to change an opponent's order. Uh, if it normally says you've got to do that once it's been revealed in the initiative step, where basically once you're doing it in the action phase, if you reveal it, then we can just chuck the card in and say, no, that's going to be a different order. So hopefully that will explain a lot of stuff. So, right, let's crack on. Let's put some orders down and we'll bring you into it. So forces are down. Commands have been placed next to them. I got the initiative, so I go first with a detachment. And because there's a good chance I might get mullered by stuff down here, even though it don't really matter, I am going to go with this detachment first. And they've got a standard advance order. No cards to change that, right? No problem. So in the action phase, I can use... Adeptus Astartes Orbital Bombardment. Dun, dun, dun. So I select a point visible to my Warlord. And then any unit within six of that point. Extracting one if it's a light character. But on a six plus I place one blast marker. And an 11 plus I place two blast markers. So I'm going to go right on just in front of that big bomber. This one here? Yeah, yeah just in front of him. So six inches around him. He's going to get hurt. Oh, very good. Well done there. So, each bomber could get hurt. So, the closest bomber to me... Oh, this one, yeah. Yep, we'll go like that. That's a three. It doesn't happen. Next bomber along. That's a ten. So, he suffers a small blast marker. Because he gets a hit. Not two hits. Just one. If you take two hits, you change it to a big. Him. He's got a twelve. So, he's got a large blast. And then it's the units around them. So, starting with this one. So, starting with that one. That's a seven, that's a small. This one. And the one next to him is a ten, that's only a small, it's an eleven plus, and I don't think I've got any other units to hit from there. Uh, Just make sure that sure. don't no, I'm gonna bad on your plane, mate, no. yeah. Six inch. Oh, there's a uh, character here. Oh, a character, it's a minus one on a character. So I miss. Yeah, other ones are out of range. No problem, sir. No, out of range for that one. Out of range. Oh, no, because I measured to the building. Oh, yeah, so, one, yeah. what units in the building? Just grots. Some grots in the building. Yeah. 11. That's they take two. Yeah. So, it's a large blast on the grots, but they do have a save of a six because of cover so far. Very good. I've declared what I'm doing. These two are within 12 of that one over there. So, they're firing their storm bolters into him. The assault cannon from them two are both going to go into the bikers and whatever range these two have got to the bikers will also fire their stone bolters into the bikers over there. So first off, four shot, well it's it's normally two shots apiece, but I'm within 12, so I get four shots apiece rapid with rapid fire, needing freeze. Nice. Ooh, so I've got five hits and I'm not sure what you class as. So that unit's class is a vehicle, so on the Space Marine stat line, which I'll bring you across here, as you can see, it's a 9 up for Stone Bolters. So I'm going to need 5 dice, needing 9s. I got 2, so that will be a large blast on that squad. And then I'll check the other Stone Bolters. So these two units firing into the Knob Bikers, 4 shots in total, 2 shots apiece, 3's to hit. They've all hit, he's not classed as being in cover. What do you class as, sir? It's a keyword, light biker speed street. <laughs> so I'm not actually sure. Right, so we just checked, because he's got a keyword light, I use the SAP value, which on them is a seven. So I got four hits, I need sevens. Wow. I got three, so that will be one large blast and one small blast so far. And then we've got two assault cannons going into them as well. Assault cannons are two shots apiece. There's no minuses for heavy weapons in this. Um, unless, you bro unless you're like a broken unit, which you've got to be over half damaged. So sometimes I don't see points in taking squads of 10. There we go. Uh, SAP on the assault cannon is a six up. So that would be two, sir. So another large blast would be placed on that unit. Now, normally, 
you'd be sat there going, oh my God, I've lost lots of men. But this is new apocalypse. It doesn't happen like that. So these guys have gone. It's going to be over now to, to you. Right. Andy's picked his big unit here. They've just advanced. Uh, they've advanced forward. He's going to fire the Gorkonaut first. He's going to lay, try and lay waste to the Contemptor, which is this, this particular detachment's commander. Although, if a commander dies, I automatically select another unit, and that becomes then the commander. Yeah. So sometimes it's helpful just to try and keep everyone within inches of each other. Right, so what are you firing first? I'm firing the Death Storm Mega Shooter from the Gorkonaut towards it. Okay. This what? is eight attacks and yep. uh, the ballistic skill of five plus. Okay. Orcs have got a special ability, or seeks to generate additional hits. No problem. Well, it hit that dice. So you've got two extra shots there. Yeah. No. So you've got two hits. What is, because that is a heavy, what is your SAT? Eight plus. So he needs eight plus on these dice. So he got a 7 and a 10, so he does a small blast marker against that unit. Twin big shooting out from the same unit. Uh, same target again, needing yep. fives. Yeah, so that's two, two hits. hits. No spots. And SAT. these are on nines. Nines. Yeah. One. One, so that will turn that into a large. Any more shooting coming at this guy? Not from them. Not from him. The rest of that arm is 24 inches, so he's not got range to it. Normally he'd have an advance, but I think he might have... Possibly, I think in future games, might double move them to start with and then probably. Well, there is that. a reason why I've done it, but. Oh, right, okay, yeah. okay, there's a reason, there's a reason, apparently. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go with these guys. These guys have got sustained fire. Right, which means that they're basically plus one to their shooting, and because they're garrisoning in this terrain piece, all my ranges are measured from the terrain piece. So we'll measure some ranges, we'll find out what I can shoot at. Right, so we've figured out what I'm going to do with these. I've got las guns. I've got three squads with las guns. They're going to open fire. So they get two shots apiece, because they're not within 24. Measure from here and line of sights from there. So they're going to fire at the death copters. So they need freeze to hit, because it's fours normally, plus one for the order. So i still got two misses, but I did get four. So I'll be four of these, and I need tens. These are heavy, so I got one. Yay! So I managed to put a another small blast. This one, this one. No, 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 oh, the one that's already hurt. Yeah. Another small blast on that unit. And then I've got three heavy bolters. They're going to fire into the bikers. These are going to be minus ones to hit. And the heavy bolters are only one shot apiece. So I need fours because it's plus one, minus one. Only one hit. SAP on a heavy bolter is a seven. Ooh. Nothing. And then the rockets, three of them, we're going to fire into that lead burner bomber, or whatever it is. Uh, this one? No, no, the oh. one, the middle one. Oh, sorry, yeah. Yeah, the yeah, middle one. Yeah. Plus one, minus one because he's supersonic. supersonic. Only one hit. Uh, are you light or are you heavy? You'll be figuring that out. I'll be looking at Missa. I'm heavy. Yeah. Missa, I want you does not care. It's sevens across the board. Yeah, heavy, yeah. It doesn't do anything, no. That bounces off before any damage can be done. So that wasn't a very successful turn from this particular oh, detachment. I apologise. Yep. Just for future reference, custom force fields. Okay. Uh, subtract, subtract one from wound rolls for attacks made by ranged weapons that target units uh, within nine inches. All right. Where are your force fields? One on here. Right. <laughs> well, I didn't wound it, so that's fine. Here. And then there. Right, yeah. okay. No problem. Now we figured that out. Right, yeah. okay. So, over to Andy. All right, so we've just done the movement for this squadron here. He's just flown over some guys. He's dropped bombs on them and managed to put a large blast marker on them because he gets pluses if they're in cover, which they are. So this unit now shooting them. It is a minus one to hit them because they are in cover. Yeah. So I'm going to go first with Scorch Missiles. Yep. Yeah. Is two attacks. Let's just kill fives again with the... So it'll be sixes because no. of the minus because you're shooting a unit in cover. So it's obscured. Yeah. Super shooters, yep. uh, two of those. Each of them get, oh no, sorry, only two of them. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Uh, again, yep. sixes. sixes. Nope. Nope. Twin big shooter, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, is that one shot a piece? Uh, yeah, two shots. You don't get uh, nope. a lot a lot of the old weapons where you got heavy free or assault free, you don't really get them in this. No. It's just one shot. That's all the burner bomber. And that's all the burner bomber. What's next? Uh, I'll go with the Dacker Jet. Who's he shooting at? This unit out in the open. Yeah, unit out in the open. Yeah, I might as well get that yeah. 
Uh, he's got four super shooters. Yep. Which is four attacks, and equipped him with two additional, which is two more. These add a plus one to hit with ranged weapons. All right, okay. So, so they're are, hitting on fours. Yeah, with again sixes for. Yep. No sixes, so two, bro. They are classes light infantry terminators, so. These are sixes. An eight and a two. twelve, that's a large blast on them. Taking some hits. And then the Wazbam Blaster Jet. Wazbam, I love the names of these. <laughs> Wazbam Blaster Jet. Right, what's he shooting at? He's got Smasher Gun, attacked in your large uh, red vehicle. The Spartan? That's the one, yeah. Oh, right, okay, you're going against the big boy. So, Run in, sir. Smash a gun, 48 yep. inches, bicycle fives. Nope. Not stick bomb, super shooter. Is one shot. Yes. Oh, that hits an extra shot. It does it hit as well. Hits. So, two shots with the super. This is on eight. SATs. Oh, that's one. So, one small blast on the SAT. Any other shots? Yep. Worth by Mega Cannon. Yep. Is two of these. Yep. These are super. Uh, I can supercharge them, so I will supercharge. Okay. And if you roll any ones to hit, it scores a blast marker to yourself. Yes. Which I will roll two of them now. Yeah, probably. Oh, no, no, it got uh, one, hit. one hit. And this is hitting on a five, which. Wow. Uh, supercharge makes it plus one into it. Plus one, yeah. yeah so, so it's on a four. Yep. Yeah. So it turns that into a large blast. Is that, is that everything? It is, yeah. I've now decided to counter his flyer flyers with my own flyer flyer. The lightning's striking in. He's going to have a pot shot at these with his last cannon and his auto cannon first. And then he's going to sky missile this lot. So, uh, right, lightning missiles. Right, so two shots with last cannons into those, needing freeze. Into the killer cans. Into the killer cans, one hit. Now, normally, last cannon would need a five up, but... They are vehicles. They are, they are heavy. Yeah, yeah. And, they are, uh, and he's got a custom force field, so it's a minus one to this dice roll. They are out of nine inches, so they are uh, out of nine, right, yeah. so it's a five. <laughs> no, it's a two. Oh, long barreled auto cannon will also shoot at the same squad. It's a hit. This needs an eight. Yes, that causes a small blast. And then two shots into this guy. I need twos to hit because it's minus one, making it fours, but a plus two. Because of my now unique ability. So that means I need twos to hit him. I got two hits. Sevens all round. That's a six and an eight. So another small blast on that whatever Daka J is. Morale can be a thing with orcs. Which is surprising. But that's me. Over to you. So the orcs have hurtled forward with an assault. Strike into the Terminators. Now, in this unit here, he's actually in combat with the terrain piece. He can still strike me with his melee weapons. He has managed to split that unit up to get into another unit. That boss has come in. These two units of Death Copters are in with a Terminator squad. This unit of Death Copters, because it has fly, and this unit of boys has also gone into an aircraft, including the boss. But, you cannot... Um, you're not locked in combat with aircraft, so I can still shoot this lot. I can't shoot this lot, because I've already gone with my squad, so I can't fall back. Yeah. But I can still shoot these, which is important when it comes to this smoz later. <laughs> right. Cool. <laughs> yes, cool, 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 cool. Uh, starting with... Uh, so nobs. starting with the knobs, you've yeah. got how many attacks? There's nine guys, so that's six attacks. Six attacks. So what is it like? Four, five, six. Is it just it, six attacks or is it? Oh, actually, knob choppers twice. So yeah, twelve attacks. That's what I was thinking. So you get six attacks on profile, and the knob choppers give you an extra. It's times two, so it'll give you twelve. Now you can come back with two units. What are you wanting to do? I'm just going to split them down. Going to split them down equally. Yeah. What do you need to hit, sir? Uh, three plus, and again, sixes will generate additional. Yeah, yeah. So against this unit first, then. So one six. And one six, so basically a re one re roll uh, on both. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So only one miss on that side. So this side, so if we're not, he's got four D twelves. Uh, they are infantry, so they're just the SAP. This is on sixes. Yep. Yeah. Uh, one two. two. So one more large blast on them. Five dice on these with the apothecary next to them. 
And you said sixes, so that would be a large and a small on them. So one large, large and a small. Going with the boss next. Uh, that unit. Yep. Two attacks. Two attacks. What does he need? Uh, weapons called tools. Uh, with an additional one. Yeah, additional attack there for the six. No. No hit. <laughs> two. Uh, two right, yeah, two. And then, what this was it? Is SAP? A, this is eight. Yeah, characters are not that cracking. No, no, zero no. On that one. Zero on that one, right. So these two choppers, you might as well do them at the same time because they're both going against the same unit. Yes. So what do they get, sir? They have three attacks profile and spinning blade, so it's twice. So it's six attacks. Six. six. So that will be 12 attacks then for both units to fight them. What do we need to hit? These are weapon skill three. It's not made it up, ladies and gentlemen. For some reason, the orc <laughs> set does not include the death the, copters. No, they so. are online, but yeah, so you can <laughs> yeah, actually double yeah. check. Yeah, yeah. So you, can, you can check this. What do you need? Uh, threes. Threes, and you've got two sixes. Yeah. So, yeah. Let's save that Two, four, six, eight, ten. Wow. So, ten. That's the largest amount of D12s I've seen so far. Ten. What um, do you need? Uh, this is against personnel, which yeah. is a seven. So, they need sevens. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's three large blasts on the Terminators. That's going to be painful. I might need to start punching more card out in a moment. There we go. Right, so we know that they've got six attacks. So we'll do the six attacks now Please. against him. Needing freeze. Yeah, so one six. Yep. Yep, so six hits. Now I am a tank. Two, four, five, six. And these are nines. Nine, so you need a nine up to hurt these because I'm heavy. One. one. Yeah. So one small blast so far. We've got the boss to go. So we've got one small blast. So one blast so far. Boss thug struck yep. is one attack. Yep. Six. He hits on hit, six. He gets an extra an extra attack. Yep. Two is a two plus weapon skill. So yep. So he gets hit. two hits. What does he need to damage? Against a tank is eight. That's not too bad. Uh, zero. Yeah. Zero, right, okay. On to the Storm Boys. <laughs> How many is in the Storm Boy squad? That is 20 guys. 20 guys. So that is four attacks. And do you have any special weapons? No. But Storm no. Boy Choppers, which ironically is a unique name, but comes with no benefits or bonuses. Radio, no problem there. And uh, two sixes though. Yeah. And I am needing uh, threes to hit. Hmm. So that's, that's not five. Super, that's five. And then you eight against AT. Is nine again. Go on in, sir. So one blast marker on it so far. Is one two. Another two. So that will be three blast markers on that. So that's one large and one small. Right, I've activated this squadron now. The Sentinels led by the Lehman Russ. The Lehman Russ has only moved four and a half inches. So it's less than half. So it gets to fire twice with its plasma. Unfortunately, its plasma cannon only gets one shot. All three, all, all four plasma shots. Sorry, it only gets one shot, but it gets two because of grinding advance. So he's going to get four shots into the infantry. Because he's in combat with that, I can target him. So I'm going to fire into the infantry. I have declared overcharge on all plasmas. <laughs> I get no... Ooh, oh, no. I didn't get any one, so I got three hits. Yeah. Now, normally, plasmas... should really have some D12s over this side. Uh, plasmas need sevens, so that would be sixes. I need sevens against infantry and sevens against tanks, so... Well, that will be sixes, that's two damage on them, so that will be a large blast, but there's a heavy bolter as well, so so far two blasts. Remember there's a heavy bolter, needing a four, it does hit, it needs a seven, it doesn't wound, so yeah, basically against them at the moment is a large blast. But two plasmas from there, again I'm going to overcharge him, is going to go into the inventory, the two last cannons are going to go into that unit, so the two plasmas, one hit, Needing a six, so that's a small blast on those, and then the two last cannons this on two against. No, no, oh, yep, that's yeah. on that one. But this, this is on the copters. Yeah. Two hits on the copters. Last cannons need a five up against anti, against tanks. I'll remove all that one. That's definitely got. Oh, it's a twelve and a ten, so that's a large blast against the. Yeah, ooh, right, so I'm pounding the crap out of that, but have you got any units left, sir? Yes. Is that 
one formation. One, one formation here. One, one formation, formation there. I have got left one, two, three. I don't know how that's happened. Because you still got them off the table. That's true, yes. I've only got seven not. Yes. So, yeah, fantastic. Well done, Andy. <laughs> and I went first. <laughs> right, okay. So, over to you, sir. Right. So this detachment's going now. He's actually got the sustained fire, or whatever it's called. We've just measured up for the shock attack gun. He's in range of the Proteus. He's going to fire at the Proteus. He yeah. only needs fives, <clears throat> plus as one for the sustained fire. Yes, uh, he's got a shock attack gun. Yeah. So, pause. No. No. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, that that was really, really good. Should yeah. we find out what else you can fire at? Right, okay. Got... Right, so the looters are going to open up. They're going to fire into the plane because the plane does not count as being locked in combat. Yeah. Because I have 10 models in the unit. Yep. You get two attacks on profile. Yep. Death guns is times four. Right, so, so it's eight. eight shots. Wow. Four, six, eight. Now, he needs fives plus one minus one. So he needs fives. Three. Yeah, no. And um, what's your A T? A sevens across the board. Sevens across the board. So three dice, needing sevens. That will two. be two. So that will be another large blast on the aircraft. Yeah. That's not looking good for my air support. Right, the Spartan is gonna to decide to roll forward. He's gonna advance one. He's gonna fire one quad into that. One quad into that. And the heavy bolters are going to fire into the stone boys now that I've been told that they're immune to morale. So they're cheeky. Right. The twin heavy bolters are two shots. It needs threes. That's two hits. And I think I need sevens. That'll be an earlier. Seven and six. So that'll be another one. Which I think they're, they're going to now be on two large. And then the quad lars, I need to find out what they can do. Right, so the quad lars is actually only two shots. But it, if it does hit, it only needs threes to do the damage. Four because it minus one liquid. Yeah, <laughs> four, I know. Four to hit. Two hits. Ooh. I need to keep D10s near myself. <laughs> right, here we go. D10s needing threes. Ah, <laughs> screw you. Well, at least that's going to be too large on him. Yeah. Too large. And then two shots on this guy. Yeah, I'll sort it in a minute. Yeah. Both hit again. And a large blast on him. So take that off, exchange it for a large, and then a large blast on that one. And I'll chuck that Thank your you. way, sir. Can you reach it on him to get him? <laughs> right, so that unit's moved forward, and uh, Andy's just used a uh, psychic power, a lot, what's it called? Warpath, orc specific one. So basically, this unit here can fight again. Yeah, you're a swine. Oh yes, the best of them. The best of them. Love them more bikes. Right, so again, this is nine models, six attacks, doubled up to 12. Doubled up to 12. Are you separating like you did before, or are you just going yeah, all, in, all against one? Yeah. Uh, three, six, three, six. So you're separating again. Yeah. Right, which one do you want to do first? These at this, this side. side. You need freeze, don't you? Yeah, I do, yeah. Any sixes explode? No, no. explosions. And these so four hits so far. Yeah. Ooh. And three hits for three sixes, which explode into another two. So five. again, a rinse repeat of the same thing as last time. Against these, a four. Four three. attacks. Is no choppers is sixes. Yeah. There's one, two, three. Yeah. So that will yeah. be a small and large. So three wounds on them. And five on the other one. Yeah. Is one, two, three. So three wounds on a piece. That's going to be a, a large and a small blast on each. The psychic power being played by this psyker. Tele Telekine Dome. Yes, that's the one. I'll okay. Pop up specific again. Uh, the command asset can be used at the start of the damage phase. Oh, actually, no. Sorry, my fault. Uh, that one. Yeah. It's damage Stop phase. cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Any more psychic powers? Because uh... I want to get on with the rest of my turn, like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cast the jump okay. onto this unit. What does it do? Uh, come on, I say, use it at the beginning, uh, during the action phase. Yep. Once you use, so it's an orc psyker, 12 inches, yep. take a unit off the board and re bring them back down again whenever I want. Oh, so we'll just turn up. They're just like deep striking back on. Deep strike back on now or later? Yep. Now. Right, okay, no problem. So this unit is a jump from there to there. And then, is that it? Can I have a turn now? 
Yes. Right, brilliant, fantastic. Right, let's, get, let's actually get up and play some games. So I've just gone into veterans on them. They're crap. Apparently they've got chain swords for veterans. I don't understand that. Um, plasma guns and all lovely gubbing weapons. You would have thought they would have had something special, but no, they don't. So they've got what's called veteran war gear. So each base has got one shot. Each unit of 10 has got one shot. So both of them are going to fire into them. I'll add their las guns as well into them. All of these need freeze to hit. Two hits. And I think they all need eights. I will double check that. Well, it's two tens, so it's not really going to matter. So a large blast on those guys. And then this lad here is going to fire a las cannon into that badly damaged thing. And he's going to fire his battle cannon and two heavy bolters into them. Right, so two shots. Oh, rocket from there as well will fire into that. I'm going to do that in a minute with last cannon. So, battle cannon's firing twice into there. Because they're grinding the bands. Both missed. Heavy bolters are going to fire into them. One hit. Need a seven. Nope. And then the last cannon from that, hitting that one, needs a five. It mm -hmm. does. I need a five again. Yes, so that's another small blast, so that'll turn that into two large blasts on that guy. And then a rocket. Yeah, it's alright, we'll sort it in a minute. Rocket <laughs> hits. I have no idea what a rocket launcher does, so what I'll do is roll that. Yeah. I got 12. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. I'll keep that small blast there and just put that large blast on it. Excellent. Woohoo! Right. <laughs> <laughs> Dear me. Yeah, so much for K uh, KFF, yeah. Yeah, so much for KFF. Um, Jesus Christ. And they've got a, a large blast on them, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. Right. I've got one more detachment left. And then we're going to go into battle phase. Mm -hmm. Crying out loud. I'm pinned down because of the orcs, but I've still got a unit. I've still got a detachment left to come in. Starting with the Proteus. He's going to put two last cannons. Into the big lad. multi is going to go into those guys there. So it's two shots apiece for the last cannons. Needing freeze. Twos because of the... Oh, still miss with two. Now normally, I keep doing this. Right, so it's fives because he's not fully within the range. So one small blast on the big lad. It would have been, but I had to move him back because he was in mega armor, right. so he didn't move as fast. And then the multi-melter then, into the copters. Hits. This needs a four. It does, and I'm not quite sure what it does at half range. Right, the Contemptor. Twin Laz is going to pile into those guys. Two hits. Need fives. Nice. Two wounds, that's another large blast on them. And I think he's got a heavy flame. Right, so just checking, even though it's four heavy bolters plus a sergeant, I actually still get bolters. <laughs> so the bolters, I'll fire first yep. into two hits. And I completely forgot what I need. So two hits for the bolters, needing sevens. Wow, one. That's one, so that's another on those. Four heavy bolters, needing twos. That's three hits. Again, needing sevens. Uh, yeah, just another one, so that'll turn that into a large. And then these guys will fire the heavy bol the bolter into them. I think it's just going to be one shot. And four last cannons are going to barrel into the big lad. So I'm going to do four last cannons first. That's three X. And that's two. So that'll be one large on the big. And then the bolter hits, needs a seven. Oh. No. And I've gone with him and his heavy flame is not in range. <clears throat> gone with that. Gone with that, I'm going to play a card before I finish my turn for Adeptus Astartes on another chapter. So, <laughs> one of these units that's been absolutely battered, one of the Terminators is going to fight back in the fight phase. I can re-roll the wound rolls, and because I'm within six inches of a chaplain, I can re-roll the hit rolls as well. So, this unit here is going to try... I'll get my finger in there. He's going to try and break them. <laughs> Okay, so it's Terminator power weapons. I need freeze to hit. Reroll. And then it's sixes to wound that unit. 
with re-rolls. That's an 11 and that's a 9, so I don't need it. So that's another large blast on the knobs unit. This is getting painful. Right, that's it. So what we should really do is remove his orders, apply any damage to the Super Heavies first, and then, once we've done that, we'll come across the board and show you some saving throws. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of saving throws. Oh, yes. Uh, because it's damage phase, do you want to play your, del del uh, your yep. dome? Uh, yep, Telecan dome. It's yep. like a 12 inches. It means that until the end of the phase, roll D12 when making saving throws for that unit. Is it just one unit you pick? Yeah. Right. So instead of the D6 is for large blast, it would be right. D12. So just for that one unit, he's rolling D12s for all of them. Uh, but what do you need on them? Uh, Nobs and bites is 8 plus. Oh, so it's a good job you are, because otherwise I think they might have been dead. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right. But an expensive unit. Yeah. yeah. Let's get some saving throws done. So on my Spartan, I've got one large blast. It's got a saving throw of 4 up. And it saves. That blast is saved. Now, we'll take the morale at the same time because it's easier to do it that way because you forget how many blast markers. Now, my morale is seven. So even if I roll a six plus one blast marker, it would mean that it's fine. Success. So it does not need to do that. So roll for save on yours, sir. Which is a six plus. Yep. No. No, so it takes a wound. Yep. And what's your morale? Uh, my leash should be five. Right, okay, so D six plus one. No, no so you don't take a second point of damage, you just take one point of damage uh, on that unit. Yeah. And I think what we'll do is we'll just sweep down the field. Now I've got one large on him, it's 10 plus, I can't save it, so we're going to take a damage point. And then the morale is... Uh, for a unit of 7, it's 7. Uh, so which can't fail, because yeah. even if you're all 6, yeah, so that good. comes off. And that's a wound. That's part, just yeah. a wound, mate, yep. Moving along, uh, yeah, might as well do them guys, it's a... 10 plus, which I can save because it's a small You can save one. because that's going to be a D10 because it's only a small blast. Nope. Nope, so they take a damage point. Again, can't fail this uh, morale. Morale, because the leadership is 7, seven. right. My right. Terminators. Oh, sorry, yeah. I'm going to go with my Terminators <laughs> first. I've got one small, three large. <laughs> Four up save. I suffer two. I believe I've only got two wounds in that squad. I think they're dead. Yep, they're dead. Uh, they managed to miraculously escape due to a card of mine, so they haven't got any on them. How many wounds is on these guys, sir? They are three large, one small, but because my telecan do, yep. I make my saves on large. You do? Uh, what do you need? Uh, for bikers... Knobs on bikes is at eight plus. Go on then, sir. So, you it's saved one, two, three. three. Christ, so one point of damage on him. Hang on, how many blasts is there for? Yeah. What's your morale? Is seven. Seven, so you can suffer another wound from morale. Four plus four is eight, eight. so you suffer wound. another damage point. How many wounds have they got left? They are six wounds. Six wounds, so they so suffered four wounds two. We've got four wounds left. Big lad, this oh, bomber yes. bike thing here. The middle one. Right? Yeah, he's got two one large one. and one small. So that's one. Yeah, two. And two. What does he need? Eight plus. So I can't save the small. Can't save the small. I do save the. Uh, How many wounds has he got? Two wounds. So he's dead. He's, he's yeah. dead. He's gone. He's gone. That unit's Black kaput. So those are your blast markers, yeah. which I will throw two over one. there for you. And he's. Right, these Terminators, they've got three large. This is where command points would come in handy. Oh, they've tanked it! They're like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't be swearing. <laughs> Please don't hurt me, algorithm. <laughs> uh, moving along, I'll do my other Terminator squad there, because there's another three with three wounds. Damn it! Ah, oh, they've gone down. Yeah. So they've gone. And then you've got two large on that. Which he can't save. because How many wounds has he got? He has two. So he's gone down as well. I'll pass the whole thing over. So right, so I've got a large and a small on this unit. So you've got one wound on him regardless. So yep. Two damage. How many damage? The uh, unit of three, so three wounds. So one wound so, remaining so far, but then I've got the morale. Oh yeah. 
So, yeah, I forgot about that too. Um, but they have, they're I forgot about their morale as well, actually, which they had three of them. Hang on. Nope. They're fine. Their lead should be four. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, Roll that again. It's got dice. No, no, they've gone. <laughs> they, <laughs> they're, they're like, oh, we've lost a load of guys. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. So they have left the battlefield. That oh. seems to be their weakness. We have forgotten a unit. There's a unit down here that needs a D10. Yeah, that yeah. one there with a D10. It's lost a wound. And they can't pass. They can't fail morale. Can't so. fail morale because I needed more damage on them, really. Yeah. So over to this smos. Yeah. Right. I have. Oh, I do have a large blast on this chappy here. He's got a four-up save. He doesn't tank it, and I'm not sure what his morale is. So I'll just roll a d6. Thank it's you. a five-six. He's. As a, well, I'll I'm going to do my lightning first. My lightning has got a six save, and it's got two large and one small blast. It's only got three wounds. It did take a bit of a hammering. No, so it's lost all three. So morale's not an issue for the lightning. The lightning has gone. I'm glad about that one. But he's got two large and one small yeah. on the death copters. Which the uh, large cannot be saved. Nope. The small can be, but actually no, I can potentially save it if I don't lose morale. Nine. It survives, it survives that wound on right, that. Right, okay. And then you've got three right. blasts. Yeah, which. No, they're gone. Three, need, four, five, yep. Yeah, yep. Yep. So they've gone as well. So these lads saving. They've got three large, but he's played armor of contempt, which means that he actually gets to use. Large, uh, large, large 2d12s. 2d12s, yes. So, so three dice. What do you need? These are tens. Alright, okay. None. None. Right, so they've suffered three wounds. How many wounds do we have? They have four wounds. So they are basically crippled. Yep. And da, 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 their leadership is six at the moment. But you've got him. Uh, yes, yeah, so he makes leader. him immune to morale. Does he? Right. Yeah. Okay, I should have shot him. Uh, but put your damage counters on, sir. They're knackered. So they need three. Two with the skulls and one face up with a cross. Last on the grots, needing a six to save. Oh, it does fine. save. One blast marker. How much your morale? My morale is four. Oh dear. Ooh, is that cocked? Yeah, it's cocked at me. It's not 50 50. Three, four. That's Three, fine. four. So they're just, they're just all right, them. They're just all right. They're like, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. Batting down These the are nearly dead. These. Yeah, they're, yeah they're nearly dead. Uh, that's it from my side. Yeah. So, carnage, carnage, carnage. Lots and lots of carnage. Yeah. The best of it all. The best of it all, yeah, definitely. Hell of a lot of carnage there. Uh, I lost two Terminator squads and I've lost my lightning. Yeah. I lost two planes, two copter squads and a grot unit. And I didn't do enough damage to them like I thought I was going to. That time no. kinetic shield has actually helped you there quite well. It does mean you haven't got it anymore. Uh, no, unless I can burn so, through 30 cards. <laughs> yeah, unless I can burn through 30 cards. So I doubt you will be able to, but I do think it's going to be punchy punch time with some other units possibly coming in. You never know. Hmm. Never know. Never you know, could, know, you could leave them until like turn five, maybe. No, no, yeah. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Turn five, yeah. Right, so we need to find out who's got priority. Uh, D12. 11. <laughs> yeah, no chance. Oh. 11. Um, I'll check for about draws. Right, ladies and gents, we did forget to do victory points. Uh, he has one for that engine marine over there. I have one for this engine marine over there here. And bah, 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 that ended up being the objective. So I'm I'm basically just like, I've rolled forward with guard and then I'm just gonna go, yeah lads, I'm just gonna sit here. Yep, just gonna, found it. Found it, we're just gonna give you an hammering when we possibly can, if we possibly can. That's gonna be our thing. So, <laughs> right, back to me deciding whether or not I'm bringing in my guys. Right, we're all set up. We've drawn us cards. My because <laughs> we forgot, I forgot about this unit here. So my Blood Angel Soap Marines are all surrounding this. Dante has come down and gone. Fear not, fear <laughs> not, you crap shooting veteran unit, because you are utterly rubbish. Don't worry. Bask in my brilliance. bask in my <laughs> glory. I don't think I'm going to take veterans in this game ever again. They are <laughs> utterly rubbish. Right then, sir. Right. Beginning of my action. You 
Yep, yeah, because uh, you get to go first. Yep, yeah, I'm going to generate some additional uh, Yep, yeah, beginning of the action phase, generate the additional cards. Right, he's just used a card, Medicare supplies on these, on the knobs unit, yeah. and he's basically just got rid of any damage that they've got. Yeah. It was going to be a toss up between them two, but I thought, yeah. Okay. All right. That's how you want <clears> to play it, jump. Um, next one, Orbital <laughs> Strike. Oh, look, Orbital Strike. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go right on top of this. Uh, when you're used to point on about the visible to at least one one warlord, yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yep, set a point uh, and anything within six inches. Just cover here. Yeah, because that will be all my units. It won't be the tank. No, but yeah, I'll point there then. Unless uh, you went, hang on. If you went, vet, uh, hang on. So he's landed there, and he's pretty much got everything within this terrain piece. Great. Starting with the tank then, sir, what do you need? It's a... Uh, D12, 6 inch, 7, seven to 10, it's... Yeah, 7 to 10, it's 1, and then 10, it's uh, 11, 11 plus, plus it's 2. Yeah. yeah, we're minus 1 for characters. That's yeah. yeah, so tank. Nope. Anyway, it's a small one, should I say? I'm going to say how that looks like yeah. a 7 to me. Yeah. Small one, this unit. Yep, yeah, that's... A large. That's the, yeah, two blasts, a big tongue. Character, minus one. No. no. This unit. No. Character, minus one. No. no. Character, minus one. Yes. Flipping heck. Dante's taking a large blast on his way in. Christ. This unit. Yep. That's a small one because it's a 10. It's or, yeah. This unit. Nine. Yeah, Nine. Small one. small one. Christ. Space beneath. Right. The veteran squad inside. No, the veteran squad inside. Oh, yeah. yes. Thank God it's the one that's crackly painted. Uh, and then these. No. No. <laughs> that didn't do too bad there. That didn't do too bad there at all. Uh... Right, I'm going to use activate him. Christ, how many more cards? Oh, it's boring. <laughs> right, go on. What are you doing? Smite. Right. I'm going to try and stop this. Bum, bum, bum. I have a command card. Did I know which, is it? No. It's Adamantium Will. Yep. There we go. Basically, hang on. There we are. Right, so. Uh, roll a d6 on the three. I, the command asset is resolved as normal, but I keep this card in my hand. On a four plus, it's not resolved. Ooh. Typical. So it is resolved, but I've got adamantium will back in my hand, so I can try and stop another power later. What does this do, Vincent? Uh, it's a 30, 30, 36 inch effect spell. Yeah. Uh, tagged in the closest unit on a two plus, it causes one I think small. It's this one, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, on a seven plus, it's two blasts. Okay. Two. Yeah, so it's one small blast. One small blast. Against them. Oh, it's not fucking good. So his first activation is going to be this unit, which incorporates this. It's these, these, them. Them and these. Yeah. Right. Go ahead, sir. Death Killer War Trike got two attacks. Yep. Eating on twos. Yep, Remember two hits. Doesn't do anything. What do you need? It's, uh, oh, not one. Snow Clot is eight. Is one. One, so that will make that three large blasts on that. So the boss is going now with his vulture claws. Hitting on twos. Yep. And wounding on sevens. Nope. No. And then... Right, got him. <laughs> and then these against the contemptor. Yeah, would be fours, but right down to two. Down to two because they are crippled unit. Sorry, I'm not. No, it's fine, you can't see that number. Well, five and a three. I think that's two hits, isn't it? Uh, threes, yep. Yep, so you need your AT. Which is sloggers, is it nine? Okay. Top of sure, so not Zero. No, yeah. nothing against them. Radio. Oh well. Hmm. Uh, that will be that. Oh no, it's oh, ease. Yes, thank you. That one I couldn't see him for the building. No, nope, no problem. Ah, uh, I'll I'll let you know. <laughs> Three. Yep. Six. Yep. For the double up. These are weapons. Go three. Rerolling ones. Yep. Reroll the ones. And you've got a six there as well. Yeah. Reroll roll that fail. Uh, okay. Yep, yeah. so five. Yep, yeah, five hits. What do you need against uh, AT? Cup two. I will double check actually. Spinning blades is nines. 
I don't know if they're 80 or eight or light. Hang on. Oh. So nines to hit that one. Uh, two. Two. So one large blast on that sentinel. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So that would be it for them then, wouldn't it? Yes. So then it will go into my turn. Right. Right, these lads have gone in. <laughs> uh, I thought I could have got a bit further forward than I did. So basically I'm just hitting this unit of boys that I'm just going to murderise. And I also managed to get a squad that's in, in those bikes as well. Uh, so it does mean that if he's got charge on these lads here, I'm probably going to get murdered. Right, so this unit's not within six of Dante, so I'm going to use them first. Three's to hit, so that's three hits. Needing sevens. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Right, so these two units, which I'll do together, uh, are within six of Dante and are within six of the Blood Chalice. So, they get to re-roll hits. Hmm. That's quite a lot, actually. So yeah. that's five, six, seven. It's difficult picking these up. Seven. That way. And these need sevens normally, but plus one for the blood chalice, so they need sixes. So, three of them. One large, one small, and then of course I've got the captain there, but I'm going to go to the other unit. They are within six of Dante for the re-rolls, but they're not going to get the plus one to wounding. So these against the knobs. Reroll hits. So I've got three hits. Needing sevens. I got two, so I got a large blast on the knobs unit. It's not too shabby. I just need to find out what he can do. So he's got one attack. He hits, and he needs an eight, and he is within six. So he needs a seven, and he got a three. He does rate well. Very terrifying. Rate right well. Rate <laughs> right well. They they hurtled up the board with their blast markers, and then went. Nah, I can't be bothered. Well done, lads. You're doing rate right well. Right, yours, mate. Uh, yeah, may as well. I'll go with these. Okay, uh, smudge time. He's playing no mucking about on these, and I'm guessing they're assaulting, so they've got a move of 10. Right, we'll bring you back into it once he's done <laughs> overcharging. Right, so these lads here have got 12 attacks. Where are they going? Uh, each of them's got wounds on them. I mean, uh, no, this uh, squad hasn't. No. Them two have, I've got one apiece. That unit there does not have any. I'm going to put six on this one. Okay. Six on that one. Okay. So I'll start with first six. Yep. These... See, I'm guessing against the furthest, furthest to my right. Yep. So they're normally hitting on threes. Because twos, of the, yep. Because of no mucking about. Yep. So uh, a lot of six. Sixes generate two more. Oh, yeah. That's eight. Yep. So three, six, seven, eight. Yep. Seven, eight. These are choppers, so I'm needing sevens. Okay. Which is sixes because they're normal coming about. Oh, they're a plus one to wound as well. well. Yeah. Oh, wow. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Flipping heck. Right, so against this middle unit. Ooh. Another three sixes as well there. Which is. Not bad. Three, three six, six, seven, eight again. Eight, eight again. Eight. Oh, yeah. These again, one, two, three, six, seven again. Yeah. Sheer weight of. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this they're unit here with the sorry. sluggers. Wait, wait, sorry, sorry, shooters, sorry, my fault. shooters, sorry. Uh, They've got a slightly different profile. So how many attacks have they got? Um, just double checking. Four attack profile. But Plus they've got one close from combat. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. they're actually well, probably the same identical profile then. Because yeah. they have. Four attack profile. Yep. Close combat weapons is times two. Well, so it's, it'll be so ten. Five, ten. Yeah. Yeah, so it'll be ten. So what are you doing? Because you're in combat with two. You're in combat with. Yep. Five win this way. Oh, all right, five, five win team. Win, um, right. Okay. Uh, again, lean twos. Yep. Oh, re-rolling ones because of. Yep, because of him. Yep. No yep. need. You got an extra six. Yep. Yep. So that's seven against him. What do you need now, though? 
These are sevens, so sixes still. Oh, Christ. One, two, three, four, five. Why would you want to do five wounds to a character? That is insane. That is insane. I don't think I've got any enough large blast markers here. Christ. Next ones. So no sixes, but hey, all's hit. <laughs> five, just five. There's only a large blast on them, though, to be honest. And one, two, I think I'm going to lose sixes. three assault squads here. One, two, three. So, Christ. one large, one small. Think, yeah, right, so they've gone. Yeah, cool. So that's. So they've gone, they've gone. You've still got this to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've still got all that side of my plane to go. Yeah. Yeah, you have. Hmm. Not looking good, this. I'm still trying to pin him in, but I'll be honest with you, I think I've lost three assault squads there. Um, right. I'm going to go with the Terminators. Right. I've been a bit clever. I've gone into the terrain, which he's still touching from when the other unit was in there. Because I've gone into the terrain, and it's terrain, I can choose to ever use my melee weapons or open fire with my actual shooty weapons, which I'm probably going to get better, oh, yeah. a better penetration on. So, I'm going to go with this squad here, which has got two attacks. In fact, in fact, no, he's going to go in as well, so I might as well. Two attacks, which will be against the no bikers. Needing freeze, re-rolling because of the within six inch nope. So I only got hit you once. And what do my power fists do? Uh, I think they do a damage point. So, that was a bit of a fail. Well, I did one wound. He's going to open fire now with the storm bolters because they can. Needing threes, and we got two hits. Needing sevens, no, nothing. And then the assault cannon opens fire. One hit. Needing a six, it's a three. That did right well, really well. That cracking, cracking job. Right, um, the chaplain hits. He needs an eight. And gets a seven, so pretty much. Did you see? Oh no, is that a They've it's whiffed everything. I've got me a proper carry left to go. And Quinry Priest is attacking that character. Yep. Needs a two to hit. He hits. And he needs a nine to hurt you. Oh, look at that, two. God, not only do I roll rubbish when it. <coughs> oh, bless me. Not only do I roll. Sorry, I had to count my d12s. Uh, not only do I roll rubbish when I'm actually rolling my d12s, um, I roll rubbish for everything else. Yeah. Fantastic. Right then, sir, um, me. one of yours. Right, so he's activated this unit, and they basically blitzed forward with that order. So they've got closer to me. I'm now going to go with Sparty Spartan. He's going to blast, blast, blast. Yay! Sounds good. Sounds good. Yay! Blast, blast, blast. Um, so he's going to blast, blast, blast into that. Mm -hmm. So two heavy bolters, two hits, needing nines. Not oh. one. And then it's going to be four quads. I don't know what I'm doing with the camera. <laughs> in twos. Wow. All hit. Threes to wound. <laughs> Still failed two. <laughs> so one large blast. I'll make sure it's not got destroyer. Right, so that's basically done. Naff all. Just a large blast on him. Right. Time for either flyer. Or shooty shooties. I want to activate the flyer. You activate the flyer? Yep. And he's going to open up into your tank. Uh, he better move, mate, otherwise he's dead. Yeah, he has got the move option. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he went with the Dacker Jet. It's gone down here. He's going to open up now onto this piece of terrain. It's trying to hit the last kind of team. It is minus one to hit because I'm in cover, so I'm class is obscured. Yep. But I am plus one to hit because all my shots are good. Because <laughs> your shots, yeah. Because I'll attack yeah. them on unit. It's uh, fives, basically. Yep. Yeah. And again, sixes will generate additional. Which is so one, one extra. Yeah. Two hits. What does this need? Uh, Sub shooters, eight. Uh, no, uh, infantry, sorry. Sixes. Infantry, sixes. One. One small so far. Any more for any more? Oh, no, oh is that it? All oh, right, okay. That, I actually did leave the worst one for last didn't I? So I've gone with this formation, I did actually have a move action because I didn't think I was going to get assaulted at some point. So I've fallen back there, 
So he can't do anything. Actually, yeah, he's not going to shoot. Uh, but I've got the bolters and bolters from here. They're going to go into this out of command squad. The last cannons, last cannons and melter, heavy bolters, they're all going to go into his super. So first off, the bolters. That's four hits. I have no idea what I need. So let's get some dice. Because I keep forgetting to get bring these across here. What's the 12 and just leave it at that, yeah. Oh, is that what you want to say? Yeah. All right, okay. Well, 11s... <laughs> it's good enough, yeah. I, I don't know if that's six wounds, but I think the two 11s do, which will be a large blast on them, which, because he's not in command yeah. in his damage phase, they will be dead. Which, they have one wound remaining anyway, yeah. so they'll be gone anyway. So they'll yeah. be gone anyway. But the last cannons then, into this. Three hits. Needing a five. That's another one, small. And this is on... The heavy bolters, mm -hmm. yeah. Four hits. Needing nines. Ooh. I got two, so another large. The two twin lars. Nice. Four. Another two, another large. And the multi melter. Hits. And I believe that's a one with multi melter, but I think it might be a three actually, so I'll check. So a convoluted advance down here. We're definitely thinking movement trays. Uh, <laughs> uh, the big mech and these lads here have got line of sight to the Proteus. Um, so they're going to be opening fire, I think. Yep, 100%. So, so I'll do big mech first. Yep. He's got two attacks. Yep, what do you need? A blistical five. Okay, no problem. One. He hits with a six, gets an extra shot. No. Oh. And what does he need? This is attacking tanks is a six plus, and this is a destroyer weapon. No problem. No. No, so that fails. Wah, wah. So, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the looters. I've just picked up the wrong card. They're oh, no. Right, now he's got the looters. Yeah. Ten models. Ten models. Two attacks. Uh, times four is, yeah, eight. Yeah, eight shots. Eight. And these again, needing fives. Yep. Yeah. Two, three sixes. Yep. Yeah. Extra, extra hits are four hits so far. What do they need against tanks? Uh, seven. Across the bar. Yep. Yeah. Two. So yeah. one large on the vehicle. So that's basically going to be all of his actions so i'm going to go with these lads first they've got shooty 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 shoot can't really see much over there because of a height advantage but i can see a lot of big stuff down here and he is in prime range to get shot down hmm. so i think the heavy bolters and the normal weapons will fire at him the rockets will probably careen that way somewhere uh, and then, yeah, we'll take it from there. Right, the last gun's opening fire first. is going to be 12 shots due to range. Needing fours because of the order. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Show him how it's done. Four, eight, ten. Yeah. If you don't Six, like to kill seven, that, eight, nine, ten. I need tens on these. So I've scored at least a large blast with Laz weapons before I roll any other dice there. Large blast? Large blast. Oh, oh it's all right. All right. All right. Heavy bolters. One hit. Needing a nine. No. So just one large blast so far. It's not enough to kill it. No. Uh, and then I've got the three rockets which are going to careen into your big lad. Mm -hmm. All hit because of the pluses. Yep. Sevens across the board with rockets. One. So another uh, wound on that unit, which will turn that into another large blast. Uh, not bad yeah. shooting. Now they've got pluses to hit as well. The plasma is going to go this way. So need the four, and it misses. The two last cannons are going to go against the death dread. That's one hit. Oh, are we going to roll a d6? <laughs> that'll be fine Yep, that's a wound. So it's a small wound, even with your shield operating there. And then this thing is opening fire with everything at the Death Dread. So I need another. This is for the plasmas. 
I am overcharging. Question. Two, one damage on myself, two hits. It's plus one and minus one because of the shield. So I basically just need new sevens. I've got another damage point on it. And then the heavy bolter, that doesn't hit either. So I do put a small blast on myself due to plasma overheat. That'll be quite amusing. That's them done. And then these guys, Yay. these guys have got shooty death shooty, which these can't really do anything. I was a rocket though. Hit the plane. Uh, yeah, I could shoot the plane. So I'll shoot the plane with a rocket. I miss. Now, this lad, we've already checked. You can see Gasgol. So, sod it. He's going for it. He's going to try and kill Gasgol. So, two heavy bolters. Need new fours because Gasgol's an inf light infantry. So, he's been hit once. He's not wounded. Our last cannon. <laughs> no. Two shots from the battle cannon. Ooh. Both hit. No, I don't think that's done anything. Right, I've got a six. I actually did one small blast on Gasgol. It'll either not do anything to him, but he's only got one wound, hasn't he? Oh, he's checking, he's checking, he's checking. Anyone got a pen? Anyone got a pen to change it? Gasgol has one wound. Has yeah. one wound, so if he fails it. He has a three plus save though. It don't matter. I know, I don't. <laughs> He's gonna die. <laughs> oh, we're gonna die. Uh, right, that would be it for this particular turn. So, both of us go up another VP. All because you killed my Grot Shields off. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Grot Shields. Gasgol would have been so fine. Right, so yeah, the Grot Shields are dead. So that's gone up a VP, and <laughs> well. This is going to be funny. Right, Super Heavy's first. Mine hasn't taken any damage. I'm just going to do my Pain Boys. Do you need to do oh, yeah, your Pain Boys. I can't do any proper kills because there was no damage upon uh, that unit. Yeah. So your Pain Boys, I think it's a 4 oh, plus, plus it and it right. takes a damage wound off. Yeah. So on that fire unit, unit, yep. Three, no. And no. on this, this unit. unit. Yes. Yes, so the oh, wound think. comes off. That's annoying. Thank you. That's really annoying. Right. <laughs> this is where all my men die, especially the assault marines down here. Um, but first off, we have one, two, three, four large blasts on the Gorkonaut. What save do you have, sir? Uh, six plus. Six plus. Well, you know I'm going to do it, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Probably know my luck. Yeah. One, so, two, three. Yeah, three, three, it's already got one, that's four. So, do you explode? Uh, on a six plus, isn't it? I think it's on a D12. Ooh, even better. No, no. It just removed. So it just goes and is left the battlefield. So this squad here, this is hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, I wish that would have been one more. But it don't matter, three wounds. They're dead. I'll do my other squad there, which is four large blasts. They're dead. You know, Captain Guy? <laughs> no, no, I'm going to do him oh. first because. Yeah. Oh, no, actually, morale's supposed to be after, so I would do that, wouldn't I? So it'd be, it's too large. I don't know what his save is. Yeah. We'll come back to him. Imagine. What's your guy then, mate? Orcs. Yep. Can't say I'm on one. Eight. Eight plus. Eight. It's either eight or ten. I'll just double check for you though. Apologise. Eight. So they're dead. Boy, ten plus. Yep. No. So they take two wounds. And then your morale. So two wounds. Two damage. Yep. So what's your leadership? Seven. Eight, they, nine, ten, ten, yeah. Six. Seven. Eight. How many wounds have they got? Six. So, uh, so that's more than half, yep, so they're crippled. crippled. Yep. So, yep, they're going there, they're knackered. They've done the job though. Uh, I'll find out what his save is. Okay, we just checked. The Sanguinary Ancient has got a four up save. <gasps> He's only just died. Oh my god, that's annoying. So he perishes. And those are off. I mean, I'll, I'll sort that out in a minute. Yep. He's dead. Dante! Dun dun dun! 
I don't what? I don't what? He's dead! <laughs> He's gone! It could be a double kill though for both all the lads though, yeah. Dante has disappeared. He's been murderized by an orbital bombardment <laughs> before he even got there. That is insane. Moving along, it is Captain Gasgol, and he does have a free up save on a D12. I did think I was going to do better than that, but there we go. Yay! Oh, he's fine. So this is not doing very good for the history books here, is it? No. This unit's two large, one small. No. Oh, you get still two wounds. Oh, you need six for it. Yeah. So all of our assault marines have gone. No wounds on them, is there? Uh, no, Your no. knobs, though. The bikers, yeah. So it's one large, one small on them. Uh, come on. Dead killer white. No. Third time I've... Oh, nothing more bad. I didn't pull it out. Right, uh, eight plus, so I can't save one of them. Yeah. So I can't save that one, so it's just... Yeah. <laughs> no. No, nope. so that's two wounds. And then what's your morale? It is... For nine models, is seven. And you've suffered two, so you could actually. No, oh, you're fine. You still suffer two damage. Right. Moving along, I am going to play. Go to ground. Ah. So, what that basically means is, is that save. I've taken my saving throws, but I've doubled the results. So, I need three saves. I got one, double it to two, so they only suffer one wound. Do you know? I'll tell you. They've uh, got one wound down there. This is a 10 plus? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I'll put a wound down. Right, I've got a couple of saves actually down here as well, which I forgot. But Lehman Russ is a 6 plus, which he saves. He suffered one damage and his leadership is five. Four, five is okay. Whew. Oh, These infantry. They've suffered the damage. They're in cover, so I need a six. They've saved. And I don't know what their thing is. Five, six. I think I'm okay, but I'll go check. Armored Sentinel next. He needs a six. Nope. He goes down. He's only got one wound. Him. We've already taken that unit off. Yep. Yeah, this guy suffered his own <laughs> point of damage. He suffers a damage point. He's got a blast on him. It's fine. Oh, that would have been, been that would have been horrendous. Plane has suffered a large. Yeah, can, can it save? Can't save because it's a large. But so my it suffers a damage point. Yeah. Is only a four. Oh my god. So oh, he's it saved. He's saved. <laughs> so he good. does suffer a damage point. There you go. Thank you. So he does suffer a damage point, but he is still alive. I've got a unit of marines there. I've also got a wound. I've saved it. I've saved their morale as well. And then I've got a large hit on the... I think that's a damage point. Yep, that does suffer a wound, but no morale because it's my leadership is seven. Right, so that my death took death. a... Uh, the death dread took a hit. Yep, so he's got a six plus save. Yep. Doesn't no. save it, so I've got that one. And he is a leadership five. Five, six. Six, so he suffers two wounds. It has two wounds. He's gone. Oh my god. That's uh detrimental. Yeah, detrimental. That was a uh, good shooting there, Tex. Yeah. Right. Uh, we need to reset this board. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's just mayhem, 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 mayhem. My war master is dead. I think you get a point for what killing the war master as well. Um but we'll reset the board and bring you into turn three. Okay, so Beginning of turn three, I played reinforcements, got another assault marine squad back, and they could actually appear up down there, and they're their own detachment, so just a squad that operates independently. Quite cool. Um, you managed to get the initiative again, which is not cool, uh, but, but it does mean that a lot of the stuff is already locked in combat, so it's not really going to be doing a lot. Okay. Yep. Uh, Beginning so, of, beginning of your turn, yeah. it's he, your action. He can't generate uh, another command card because there's not enough orcs, but he, okay. down there he can 
Oh, right, okay. Potentially get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, let you, we'll do this off camera. Right, so to begin the game with, more stratagem cards being played. Laser burn across here. Um, so against the Spartan, you need a seven. Eight, yeah. So that's a point against the Luminous. Two. No, yeah. and against the Contemptor. No. No, so just the Spartan taking a bit of a tickle. Yeah. I'm going to... Oh, here we go. I apologise. <laughs> Just Enemy box net sub uh, subterfuge. Um, change an order. Uh, this command as it starts at the action phase when you select one enemy detachment, excluding network fortifications, your opponent must replace that order with another one. Yeah, we we said we'd use them when we because of the way oh, we're selecting. Yeah, once we you once we select a unit, that's when we we Reveal will it. then change yeah. that. Yeah. So if you want to do that, that's fine. I'll leave that one until you you pull them. Yeah, 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 yep, 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 yep. yep. Because you might not want to change what I've got because we're supposed to show us all. All the orders are supposed to be visible, but they're not at the moment because it's actually a better game when you don't do it that way because you're not quite sure what your opponent's going to do and you can surprise each other with it quite easily. Any more? Nope, that's all my card for the moment. Yay! So, surprise or not, I'm going to... Attack. Aha! Yep. Right, do I stop you from doing that? Well, so he's going to go for an assault. I've played minefield. So if he uses, if he moves a unit, there's a chance it will get a blast marker on it. And that's a small blast, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Well, it's just place one blast. Yeah. yeah. So definitely, I'm going for it. He's going for it. He's going for it, ladies and gentlemen. He's yeah. going for it. So this unit to start with. Yeah. Not engaged. Uh... Well, we'll let, we'll do the movement. Yeah. We'll bring it back in. Right. So due to the minefield, he's not moving his characters. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, yeah, I'm actually gonna move one actually. Okay. Gazgo's gonna move up. Oh, alright, Gazgo's gonna move up. Yeah. Roll D6. You know you wanna get a one. Oops. Yeah. Trying to keep him in command range. Yeah, I'll roll him. Go on, get a one. Get a one. No, no, never mind. Cool. Uh, yeah, so attacks. Attacks. So those lads which have been crippled, they so the half yeah. half attacks. Yeah, well, normally they've got four. Yeah. Just one for Gazgill. So we did a round. No, no, round. it's half attacks. So it would be oh. because Gazgill plus is one is an ability. So it's two plus one, so they'd have three. Right. But then I don't think the time's up by two. Gazgill, I believe. Don't he plus one after multiplication? No. Right, so yeah, so it is plus one to their attack characteristics. So plus two, they've got two, plus one for Gazgill. So because the times it by three means I've got nine attacks. Needing threes, is it? Yep, threes. Uh, and we're rolling ones. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, you're not within six of the wall. No, uh, three uh, of him. Does he get to re-roll ones because of him? No yeah. problem. Uh, two sixes, so these are additional. Yeah. Yeah. And these are them re-rolling them two ones. Sorry. All right, sorry. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Alright, you're just, you're just chucking dice at me now, aren't you? That's all it is. Yeah, so, yeah. Those are all hit, wounded and things. Yeah. So, two, four, ten. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah. What do you need? Oh, boys, uh, choppers is seven. Rightio, here we go again. That one's One, caught, mate. Two, three, yeah, I'm going to reroll it. Four, five. Six. God damn it! Yeah. And then this unit, what are they doing? They... Uh, you might want to cancel this for one second. Right, so he's decided what he's doing. Five against the character. Yeah. Needing freeze. Uh, yep. Yeah. Rolling the ones. I think. No sixes. Yeah. So, so those five are Five against the priest. Five. Uh, one, two. Two, yep. Yeah. There you go. And then five against the squad. Uh, One six. Yep. So four. It's weird swapping dice, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. One. Uh, one. <laughs> yeah, Zephyr is going to survive. Right. Uh, these guys there. Uh, yes, I, I those guys down know. there. Not within six of Gaz, so they're not plusing one to their attacks. No. So they've got four attacks apiece times three, so it's 12. Yeah, six inch of him. Yeah, so they get to re roll ones. Yeah. So 12 dice. 
Eight, nine, ten. We've got two in front of you. One there. Oh, yeah. And there's one right in your mess. Oh, yeah. Thank there you, you go. You see, I can tell you've got 12. Ooh. I'll reroll them. I've got two sixes. Yeah, well, reroll them first. Oh. Right, there you go. Yeah. And then you've got two sixes for two extra attacks. Yeah, I'll just shift them out of the way. So they'll both all hit. Yep. Yeah. So you got eight. eight. Needing sevens, is it? Uh, yeah, normal. One, two, three, four, five. Christ, they're dead already. Five. That's going to be two large and one small. Dead marine. So I'm going to go with this unit. I was going to open fire fire, but he's played that card like we said, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, and then of course they're just going to be basically try and shoot this up before it disappears. And uh, possibly shoot these before we get into combat with something. <clears throat> so, it was 12 dice last time for shots into your backside. Mm -hmm. I need fives this time, though, to hit because I'm not having the plus one. No. Mm. That's still seven. No, it's still there. Six. Seven. I need tens. One large. I'll be honest, unless you play a card, Oop. that's a dead flyer. Correct? Yes. Now, I was going to put heavy bolters into them, so I will do that. So, one hit. And that's another small blast. Oh. That's definitely going to be, a, I yeah, think, well, dead. Definitely so still right, in fight. I've got it. And then the three rockets are going to careen in into them. Yep, two. No wounds on the rockets. <laughs> so even D12s, when I'm rolling D12s, hate me. Right, that's I'm done, so it'll be your turn, sir. Right, so he's assaulting with these guys. The copters have gone in and hit the um, Terminators plus the Apothecary. What are you trying to find? Oh, the oh, ones that are relevant, the one? Which ones do you want to go first? I'm gonna go with the copters. Okay, so the copters first. How many attacks do we have? Three attack profile, doubled up for spinning blades. Yep. So I'll split it equal, three on three. So three to the character, three to the. Uh, okay, three marine. to the character. Uh, blah, 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 blah. These are threes. One hit. Yes. What do you need? Sevens, I'm gonna say. Spinning blades, seven, yep. No. no. And then three on the termis. Yeah. All hit with terminators. Okay. Again, needing three, uh, sevens. Seven, yeah. Ooh, just the one. Just the small blast. Right, who's next? The knob bikers. Knob bikers, who are they putting their attacks on? They are going. Against the ones in cover. Uh, you can yeah. target the chaplain if you wanted to. That's true. Ooh. How many attacks do I have? Right, so the knobs are actually going to go all against the Terminators. How many attacks do you have, sorry? Three, six. So six attacks with the knob chops. Uh, more than I'll just put them down. Hmm. No war banner. I get a plus one to hit with him being there. All right, mate. So these are hitting on twos. Yep. Still a miss. Yeah. Uh, six, and so uh, add another one. Yep. All yeah, right, fine. So six, what do you need to wound me? Six. Knob choppers is sixes. Okay. One, wow. two. Yeah. I can roll that. Oh, that was good, that. Yeah. <clears throat> I enjoyed that. That was good. I'm glad I decided to uh, not split. Yep. Yeah. And then you've got your boss, Wait. and then you've got your guy. Bosses against these. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Snagger Guy. Uh, yeah. Wait, first of all, it's two attacks. Twos, yes. Yeah. That hits. These are eights. Yeah. It's two. Wow. Done well there. Yeah. And then other lad, what's he doing? Boss is extra. He can go against the apothecary or other one. He will go against the apothecary. Okay. Which is one attack. Is hit. Yeah, oh, is it hit? Oh, all right, okay. Yeah. And he's sevens. Nine, yeah. Oh my God. Oh. You're doing, oh, I farted. <laughs> uh, you're doing all the right stuff. Again. Right, so for those confused, I was about to go with my little tiny assault marines, but 
he seized the initiative and gone with this unit before I can go with mine. Yeah. So, his looters are now within range of the Phobos. They're going to open fire. Hopefully it'll be spectacular, but I doubt it will be. It's eight shots, won't it, for looters? Will, yeah. Six and eight, yeah. So five. Yep. Let's imagine it. Two sixes. Yeah. So five. And it's sevens across the board, isn't it, for yeah, your guys? Yeah. One. One. Any more shooting at this? Uh, yeah, the big gun's going to be fired out. Right, the, go ahead. Shot the attack gun. Ooh, six. six. Nope. See if I can uh, hit with this one. First time, six. <laughs> no. <laughs> Any more shooting at that? No. I don't think, I don't think a lot of no. has got range, have they? Right, okay. Nothing else of that unit can actually shoot. Surprisingly, I think we're learning that you need to, if you're just a pure infantry formation, you need to really urge yourself forward on that first turn. Now, I've got to go back to doing this. Right, so they've fallen back out of combat. I'm going to actually open fire with these into those guys. Got one hit, and I need a seven. No. But it means, even though I've kind of given away positions it means that these lot are going to be able to open fire on more of those orcs so i'm hoping to be able to screw some stuff over right then sir yours surprisingly andy ak doc has advanced with ease and is now done with everybody so i've still got this unit formation left this formation left this oh, formation left my plane plane. That's oh yeah yeah it's still got his plane i've also got this formation left so i've still got quite a few formations left to go this will be quite interesting. Hmm. What are you doing, good sirs? Oh, look. Advance. Why did I pick that order? I probably did it by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> or, it's mainly so I can do this. Tactical brilliance. And then, open fire on them. So I'm going to start with this fella, and I'm going to get some D10s. Overcharging into... The drops. Ooh. I don't hurt myself and I hit twice. So it's plus one, minus one because of the custom force field. And I get one, so I've done one small blast marker on them. I've also got a heavy bolter, which doesn't hit. Another plasma shot into them, overcharging. Ooh. Hits. Doesn't do any damage. And then two last cannons. We're going to go into the same unit. Both hit. Well, another damage, so that makes that a large blast. A very definitely heavy unit, aren't they? Not light or anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Double Just double checking. Yeah. yeah, we always have to double check that. Right, so go with your fighter. All right, this guy here is probably going to die, but he's, he's hurtled forward. He's going to open up on which infantry squad? He's going to open up on the, the terrain, ones, so yeah. he wants to open up on the heavy bolters. Yeah. So he's going to try and shoot the heavy bolters. Two, four, he gets a five, plus six. one, even though it's a minus one. Yeah. So this is fives. I'll come to you, sir. Come yep. to me. There we go. There you go. And that's one additional. No. no so three hits. What does he need? Decker jet is sixes against infantry. Okay. One. One. One small blast on the heavy bolt team. Right, what am I going to go with next? I, I don't have to worry about anything of his. So I can go with pretty much anything. So I'm going to go with this unit next. So they're going to activate. He's going to fall back and touch them. Try and heal that wound if he possibly can. Everyone else will remain in combat. I'm going to play my Vortex Grenade, Ooh, da -da, yeah. which will go from him into the knobs. So I'll roll 3d12s. And you get a large place, place one blast marker for each six plus. So one large blast on it. That's before I open fire. So four shots with the storm bolters because they're going to open fire because they're in cover. So four shots with the storm bolters into them. I only hit with one. I do another point of damage on the knobs. Yeah. And then two shots with the assault cannon. Two hits. Another two, so that's another large on that knob unit. 
And then there they have to fight combat. So that's going to be two. And I completely forgot he's a sanguinary priest. So I will plus one to this damage roll. So two hits. Not sure what I need, but I'm plusing one to it. I'll check because if I need a six, that five is a wound. It is a six. So that's going to be another large blast yeah. on that unit. How many have they got now? Three and a small. Wow, three large blasts and a small. They're taking some chewing. Right. Which one of my formations goes next? Right, so I've opened fire with these guys. They've already fired with their uh, large weapons. And surprisingly, they've done a large blast on those guys. So a rocket's going to go into them now, plus one to hit. Ah, I've got to need twos as well. How dare you? In fact... Oh, you're throwing a command card into the robot. I am, because I've had it since the beginning of the bloody game. Make sure it's a, to hit, not to, uh, to wound, yeah. Bone soldiers. There we go. Alternative is command that can be used to make a hit roll for an attack from Astro 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 unit in my army. Perfect. So I will, because I need a two. There <laughs> we go. And then I need a seven. That's an 11, so that'll be an extra blast on those. Oh, unit, yeah. And then, this lad. So he's got two of his main battle cannon into them. Both hit. I'll double check. I think that's only one. At the moment, we'll say it's one. And then two heavy bolters. One hit. Needing seven. That's a nine. So that's another. So that's a large blast. And then a large cannon. That hits, but it does need a ten. No. Oh. A large blast on that unit. Doing well. Mm. Doing very, very well. I'm glad we're not hiking now. No, it's a, yeah. Raining cats and dogs. Next. Go over, but I've got them to do against those orcs. So four attacks, needing freeze. I got two. God, I can't even hit average. That's <laughs> one large blast though against them orcs. <laughs> That's not too bad actually. Mm -hmm. Right, moving along. This lad. <laughs> and yeah, because I didn't know what was going to happen. I thought somebody might have actually contacted him. So... What's he going to do? I think some quad lasers are going to go over there. I think some heavy bolters are going to go over there. So, two heavy bolters into this unit. One hit. Six. It doesn't wound. It needs to be a seven for heavy bolters. And then the quad lasers are going to go into um, the big can. Yeah, the death dread. The death dread. <coughs> Only two. Now, this is a two minus one. Don't worry, it's freeze, mate. So that's a large blast on the Death Dread. And then, I think this is last but not least. Daka, daka, daka. Right, so the Contemptor Dread is going to try and fire at the Death Dread. Two's to hit. And he needs sixes because of the field. Yeah, because they're going the cover with the wall. Um, I think he's got to cover 50% of you. Oh, I couldn't remember. Um, no but, to be honest, that's still a hit. Exactly. I'll just do a double confirm. Another large blast. Excellent. On the Death Dread. Right. Um, small arms fire. Two bolters are going to go into these guys. Uh, I do need two, so that's three of them. I do need nines normally. He's within the envelope, so I need tens. I should kill that chuffer, actually. <laughs> large, large blast on, on the cans. Oh dear. Four of these into your Big Mac. Yep. Yeah, sod you. Mm -hmm. uh, plus one, minus one. Two hits. I don't know if he's heavy or what, but I need tens it's if not. Light, yeah. No, I didn't get anything. Nah. And then... This lad here is going to try and make sure he finishes off the two lads yep. into the Death Dread. Yep. In fact, both his lads into the Death Dread and the multi melter into those guys. So, lads into Death Dread, needing twos, three hit, needing sixes, another small blast, twos against the other guys. Yep, I need fives, nine, so that's a small blast on the uh, Killer Cans. That will be it, I think, for that particular round. Seems good. 
It does seem good actually. That mm. seems like uh, I've managed to do a bit of damage on yeah. that round. Right, Super Heavy's first then. This lad. He's not saved, so he takes a damage point. And he's leadership seven, so he's not going to take any points from that. So to start with, I'm going to try and save the Sanguinary Priest. I need a six. No, he goes. He's gone. So that would mean that that unit is the last unit. But if I'm being completely honest, I've now got to do 3d6 and a d10 save on them needing sixes. Nope. Three wounds. That infantry unit has disappeared. How many damage did I take on the new infantry unit at the back? Uh, two large, one small. Two large, one small. So I'll do them now because it's just easier. Damn you! <laughs> They're dead as well. So the new infantry unit that turned up also get creamed and mullered. He's used Miraculous Escape to remove one of the large blasts, so that will put you down to what? Is it two large, one small oh. now? I thought you just had to take the smallest one off. Ah, no, 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 take the bigger one off then. Then you can take any blast, it oh. just says remove a blast marker. Cool, yeah, take it one bigger right. one. Right, so bigger. this unit, what you got on here? One small, one large. Cannot save the large. Yep. Uh, so I've got a small 10 plus. No. No, nope. so that would be another two wounds. Is that the unit dead? It is. That yeah. unit is gone. That unit nice. is removed from the battlefield. That's a 30 man blob. Finally destroyed. Uh, this this unit, unit, well, I'm going to say this unit in front of me with large oh, yep, blast, so he can't, can't save. save it. So it suffer a wound and your morale. Uh, can't fail it. Can't fail it. Because it's a seven. Seven? Yeah. What about the guys behind then? Uh, can't, can't save it. Can't save again. it. So again, another wound. Yeah. Moving bikers. on. Yeah, if you want to look by, because it's too large, one small, isn't it? Uh, yes, sorry mate, I was just looking for the card again, I just put it back down. Pain by... No, oh, come on, whatever. <laughs> ah, ah, front of my face. Right, front of your face. Uh, so, one, two large. Yeah, can't save the large, but yep. I've got one small I can yep. save. No. Three, no, so that's three wounds on them. One, two, three. And then you've got a leadership of... Seven. Plus three. Yep. So there's a chance you could fail this. Oops. Six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine. They are dead. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh. No, you do right. I, I didn't need them to survive. Yeah, yeah. They've gone. They have gone. Ooh. The Terminators. Do they suffer a wound? Yes, they do. So they have suffered a bit of damage. It's these other Terminators I need to have survive. Yes. So I've got one large and one small on them. No, oh, they've already damaged. If I managed to save that uh, damage point, that would have been a different story. Yeah. But I didn't. So they have gone. Come to meet their maker. But the Terminators have done bloody well. Yeah. Held up that area and managed to kill those knobs, which is a great, great advantage to me. Oh, there's one boss marker underneath this deck copter. Oh, yes, yes, they did suffer. Is it a large or a small? It's a small one. Nope, is it? Yeah, it's another this one. All yeah. oh, right, yeah. So it's an eight plus. <laughs> no, no, oh, so they suffer a wound. What's their morale? Uh, their morale is four. Oh dear, Five, no, seven. okay, so they've suffered a wound. Me and that's mine. Right. <clears throat> so moving swiftly along, um, I've taken a hit there. <sighs> Bounces off, and his leadership is seven. I've taken a hit there. Might as well do it now. Bounces off, and their leadership is seven. So I've not suffered any damage down here. Now, the bomber yeah. has got one large and one small. Can't save. Can't save. And it's already got a wound. Yeah. So the bomber's gone. That's done some flying about. Yeah. Right, two large and one small on this death dread. I think it's sixes, but I will just double check. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yep, sixes. It's two large, Oop. one and small. Got <laughs> no. three wounds. Yep. Is that it's death dread gone? It's only got two, yep. Yep, so that death dread's gone. I and mean, then again, it's two large and one small on the cans. cans. I do think this chunk here is pretty much suppressing this entire area. 
kan vara kant. Därför. Ja, ah, det är gott. Sixes. Ja, ah, så so two on the one again. Ja. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, uh, you rolled that one. Yeah. Too large, what, yeah, one small. Yeah, that's what you're confusing. Uh, so, yeah. Them dice, yeah. Yeah. Hang on, hang on. Ah, come on again. There we go. Ah, so one. Only one on the cans. Um, they haven't got a wound on them already, but they've got one, two, three boss nice. markers. Yeah. So what's their morale? Uh, their leadership for three cans is four. That's yeah. another wound. How many wounds do we actually have when the Batman wounds. is? So they are crippled. Yeah. Thank you. No problem, mate. <laughs> it's fine. Right, after having a look at the end of turn three, we've got some seriously crippled cans. We've just done a little bit of pre-measuring, even if they assaulted, I might be able to get one unit in combat, but it's a very weak unit that gets in combat and is going to suffer another battered round of shooting. These guys are coming up. Yes, they are getting in range, but not getting in range quick enough and I'm pulling back slowly but surely every little minute to make sure that he's not in range. These guys have now free but there's not many of them left and it's same with the boys. The boys are starting to suffer and it'll take two turns which will then be turn five for him to be able to get in close enough to this objective. That would mean that I would at the end of that turn get five uh, get three vps which we're both earning a victory point per turn because if he abandons that one yep. he loses a vp so that squad or somebody from down there is going to have to hold back which he can't do because of his command radius yeah we are <laughs> putting him at risk because this is the way apocalypse plays we hope you've enjoyed that we've actually enjoyed that that was quite fun to refight some second war of armageddon you know having the to be honest there was a story about the Devastators just sitting there laying waste to, to units, to units, to units. So they've pretty much done what they're supposed to do. Dante was a disappointment. <laughs> yeah. Coming in here, getting orbital bombardment on his way over there, and then removed from the battlefield. He did, he did successfully well. Mm. He did really well. It's a very odd game with no re-rolls. Yes. The fact that you can't, unless you've got a certain card that allows you to re-roll to hit... When you're taking them saving throws, it's, am I going to save it? Am I not? I've got to use this card to double up my saving throw. Am I going to... Yeah. Not being able to re-roll all your dice really does change a lot of the game. Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, if you liked my army, the Blood Angels and the <laughs> um, Steel Legion, I do commission painting. That's over at rootstem.co.uk. Um, majority of the terrain has also been painted by myself. Uh, that building, that building, that building, that building. <laughs> Pretty much all of them in the middle. Yeah, that's all been done by me. So uh, I do terrain commissions, I do miniature commissions, small, large armies. Just be aware that if it's a large army, it might take me a while to actually get through it. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, I think Andy's enjoyed it there. Yeah, 100%, yeah. yeah, yeah. Out in Women on Apocalypse, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That yep. was uh, chewing up them Terminators. Yeah, you couldn't get to, past the Terminators. Yeah, definitely a lot to think about for future games. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. And the stalwart defenders. That that Contempt of Dreadnought has instilled you, you, you shall not pass. Yeah, more Even more after being us. beaten and blooded. He still made sure that all of that lot over there took an absolute arsing. And I think if you were playing Orcs, don't sit defensive. No. Basically on your first turn at game, just chuck everyone in assault, I think. 100%. Yeah. And then get them up the field. That's what you need to do, William. Unless you've got lots of buggies and wagons. Yeah. Which was my first amulet choice on that one, yeah. Ah, well, there we go, you see. Well, thank you very much, guys. We'll see you next time.